My name is Vina Chen. Uh, welcome to my studio. Uh, last session, I introduced the general structure and the control style of the uh, organs. So today, I'm going to do the ink style, a so-called Xie Yi style. Actually, this is the best style uh, for bringing out the beauty of uh, organs. It's uh, a lot related to Chinese uh, choreography and how to exactly keep your uh, strokes. So it will bring out the elegance and the gracefulness and uh, the spectrum of the office. So let's try. Thank you. Today we're going to the ink style of the ox. And the first, uh, I'm going to introduce uh, how to do the leaves. The leaves basically is a stroke. So when when you do a stroke, uh, you involve with uh, pull down, run, press, left up. So all those you have to control that by your hand and uh, on the paper to show the piece uh, piece leaves. So you you use the either medium or large hard brush or mixed brush. Load that with the dark ink. So you just put down. Then, sometimes you leave a little space open. That's okay because that shows you your intentions there. Sometimes you may have to fold. And sometimes it's short. Can make small leaves. So also you 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 practice both way. You can do this way. You can do this way, and same thing. You can leave your, in, your intentions there. Also, you can do the folding, and you can do the short leaves. So that's the uh, stroke you have to keep practice. Then you can make the leaf look very graceful and then long and slender. So that's the basic technique to leaves. Thank you. Uh, now I'm gonna show you uh, how to group in the leaves. In the Chinese painting, the certain way for the orchestra to go the leaves the arrangement. So like a first stroke, you get your direction down. Then second stroke, you suppose form an eye with the first stroke. That means in some way, they're going to close in each other. Then third stroke, suppose to break the eye. Then you can have a fourth stroke and a fifth stroke. And you can add maybe six one too. So that's a that's the way uh, you're supposed to arrange your uh, August leaves. You can have have another group, another group, so become a bigger painting. So but this is supposed to be the basic uh, rule for the way grouping the leaves. I think it's uh, just show their gracefulness and uh, make them balance and make them look pretty. Thank you. Uh, in Chinese paintings, uh, also always uh, for instance black and white, so they always have a certain rules. Like uh, the orchids or other plant, they always they. Uh, dark shows the green, green color, or other dark color. But the, the flower usually is light ink. So that's why when we do the flower, you can use a big mixed brush and uh, go into the light ink. And uh, we, we did the contour stuff before, so you know how the how they leaves flower look like. So when we do the ink style so we don't have to draw the lines so we just draw like this suppose this is a butt okay 
and that they have the stain and the spike and the this one. then we open up a little more and something uh, when we go into the fire pile I said before, they, sh they sh should like a, a lady's finger. They always have a little bit of clothing. And what I show here is all the Chinese uh, orchids, not uh, so big as the, some other orchids. And this is the front, the top view, so can we, we can do a down view, down side. Then we have this side of you. That's a, 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 a lot of other example <laughs> you will, I will show uh, attached to this lecture. more more examples. So this is the paddle and uh, and the spike. So in very important is the heart. Do the heart. They say heart is just like your body. And the heart once you put the heart then these organs become alive. So the technique for the in for the ink start the heart. Same thing they have certain you don't have to exactly follow, but they just show you the technique they do the heart. They can have either uh, they really look like a Chinese uh, character heart. So you can have three dots. You can have three dots. Okay, or, or you can like this way. Or you can like a, this way. Or you can have a four dots. Uh, by the way, the dots you have to use a uh, uh, dark stain ink. Mo most of the dark ink do the heart. So make you make a more dark ink. I want the dark stain ink to the heart. So this is a four, four dots technique. So that's why I use the dark stain to the heart. Like they, this is just one dot. Okay. This is maybe you got the two dots. Four dots. Okay, so that's why put the dot and then you put it back here. So that's how you do the the power. Thank you. Now I'm going to show you a simple composition combined with the flower and the orchids. So first you have the same thing. You just make the leaves for the direction and second stroke you try to make a close, close one over. Then third one, you close in the leaves. Then I like to make another group. Then another phoenix eye, then closing the eye. Then you can also 
Make another long leaves. I like to make another long leaves. Make more slender. So I got all the leaves down. Then I do the flower. The flower use light ink. Light ink. You use you can use the soft brush. The soft brush light ink. Do the flower. Then we do one from the to the other side. Come to a and over. Okay, maybe do a baby one here. And use a dark staining for the heart. You can either do something support or you can just like this. So today I think I just going to leave like this uh, for the simple composition of the uh, one stem, one flower in black and white. So next one I will show you the how to do the color. Thank you. And uh, actually in Chinese, tradition Chinese, uh, painting the black and the white is almost the most beautiful thing and uh, but uh, I do like to show uh, something maybe in color so just another technique uh, in Chinese in color uh, the leaves they have a few steps always uh, uh, green to blue to black so all these things they still involve with little by the black. So how you get the green? The greens get from gumbo and the indigo. So I going to mix uh, the gumbo, gumbo with the indigo to make the green. And uh, every time you make a different, uh, don't make the whole bunch in the same time. This way, every time your color will come out a little bit different, make the difference. So I, I made some green, okay. Then I put my brush into blue. This is the green. Then I go to blue. Then go to black. Little by the black. Then we do the leaves. You can see me always follow the the rules, right? I can make another one, but I still follow the same rule. Then we go make a little more. See, this is the intention is there, right? So just make a simple leaves. Now I make it today. You can do the flower first, or you want to do this the stem first, okay too. So I'm gonna try to do the stem first. So I usually do this one. I put a little white color.
Then go with the green. You can use mixed brush. Same thing, Manzhu. Yeah, most of, most of the uh, orchids I kind of, I use the Manzhu the most. Little bit of green. Then go remaining color. Sometimes you paste on the paper, make sure they look okay. Give you a color you like. Then you start from the top to the bottom, all the way down. Then You just make the color a little darker. Okay, so it's the same thing. You do the white. Do the white. Get a little green. And remaining color. And you start from the top. They always brought me from top to bottom, uh, bottom to top, so the top is the youngest. It's better one stroke. This way, you can see the color come out, getting lighter and lighter. So they say it's better be the other lamp when you paint. So I just count myself, I got the five, so I better stop. Otherwise, getting too low, right? So I just stop right there. Then you use uh, uh, red with ink to the heart. See, red with a little ink to the heart. Just means dark red. Dark red to the heart. Mm. Mm. Like this, just wipe that. Maybe two that. Mm -hmm. Do the heart. So that's a uh, sort of complete. And then in here, I just come from the ground, right? So I want to add something little interesting. So I'm going to do a, a butterfly, which you have the lesson before too. I give the lesson uh, before too. So we got a simple butterfly. To, to, to do the supporting room, because this is supposed to be in the spring. But don't put the butterfly with pound, pound, Pound flower, okay? That time did not come out yet. So, I put in the white. White and the whistle in the blue. I teach you, it's all very simple. And just one, two, Three, one, two, three, then we do the stomach. Then you use uh, light ink. Light ink to do the stomach and the head.
cerita kepada Nata. When you bury back in ink, so the eye and the sensor and the feet. So the butterflies. So that's a simple composition. You can make it bigger, the better. And that as far as I said before, always take a, a long time uh, to practice. And then myself, I'm still practice. And because I didn't paint the bamboo <laughs> August all the time either. So I still need to practice more. I think if we all uh, practice, then we enjoy the uh, disgracefulness and the elegant and a uh, uh, very pretty spirit of the uh, spring. Enjoy the flower. Thank you. Uh, in this uh, session, I finish up uh, the August. And as you all know, <laughs> we need to spend the half time learning how to draw August. And I'm still learning. So if we all try, and uh, I think we will enjoy uh, the beauty of the spring and the next session I'm going to uh, do something a little more interesting uh, which is the birds so uh, don't forget to check the material list and also maybe some of my painting uh, attached to it thank you nice to see you <laughs>